Mr. Ambassador, welcome back. This came for you. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. That's the new Latvian ambassador. What do you do? She's now got needless. Perfect. Thank God. All right, let's move on, huh? Tell me about this guy's eyes. I didn't see his eyes. He was covering his face, so all I saw was a left ear. What are we supposed to do with this? I can't distribute this. I'd recognize him. From this? Well, every ear is different. They're like fingerprints. Hey, how's it going? This is all that he saw. You know what? The earlobe was a little rounder. Uh, Vladimir Kaczynski, Captain Stottlemyre. Good to see you, sir. Adrian Monk and uh, Sharona Fleming. Uh, Mr. Kaczynski's with the Latvian Embassy. So you were here with the ambassador about an hour before the murder? Well, no, not even one hour, the 20 minutes. Just can't believe he's gone. What are you looking at? Your left ear. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Sir, we're trying to retrace where the ambassador was and where he went and who he might have met. Well, uh, we uh, met uh, for drinks. We met every Wednesday and we stood right over there. Just the two of you? Uh, he had his bodyguards with him. Oh, and, and um, did he seem worried about anything or frightened? No, not at all. He was uh, how do you, uh, upbeat. Mr. Kaczynski, I overheard the ambassador say something just, just before he was killed. She's now gone meatless. She's now gone meatless? Does that mean anything to you? Maybe a new woman is a vegetarian. I, I mean, does it have any meaning in Latvian? No. no I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Kaczynski. Uh, She's now gone meatless? No. That'll be all I'll show you on, kid. She's, She's now gone. Meatless? We oh. appreciate your time. If we have any more questions, we'll get back to you. Okay, thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you. That was our supposed friend, Detective Cage. He's got a lead. He wants us to go to Brooklyn, talk to a man named Elmer Gratnick. But Gratnick's been sending the ambassador some threatening letters. Wait, wait, wait. That's Gratnick, right over there. Cage says he always wears that hat. He's been seeking political asylum for two years, but the INS keeps turning him down. And he blamed the ambassador. Among others. So I think he's the guy you saw? Maybe. I can't tell. I, I need to see his left ear. Look, look. How about this? You walk by. Maybe, maybe he'll tip his hat. Oh, he's not gonna tip his hat. He might if you sashay. Where are you going? I'm gonna talk to him. Well, sashay. Sure. Sashay. Um, excuse me, Mr. Granick? Shh. Now talk. You can bother him all you want. Okay. We're working with the police department on the assassination. There was no assassination. Assassination is a word they use for great men. Ambassador Krasnick was no great man. Sans Biasuns, he was a dog. Excuse me. Uh, that, that is a nice hat. Thank you. Did you threaten him? I get mad I say things, but I don't hurt people. What is that? That, that mink? Sable. Sable. Wow. Yeah. Could I, could I hold it? Uh, what? I love hats. I collect them. I'm a, I'm a chapeauologist. No. Go away! She's now gone meatless. What? Before he was killed, the ambassador said something like, she has now gone meatless. Does that mean anything to you? Excuse me. 
I think you are saying Cisnogol Mytlos, which is not really Latvian. It's a completely different dialect called Kaitamian. But some people speak both. What does it mean? That means this is not my coat. Here, here. I bought you some water. Did you ever find Warwick Tennyson? We're working on that. Oh. They've got the home field advantage, but we're still working. Why don't we go back to the hotel and get some rest, OK? Yeah. Come on. That's the guy from the hotel. What, the shooter? How do you know? His ear, I'd recognize it anywhere. Yeah, his name's Stephen Light. His wife was just killed in Central Park. I was just reading about him. Wait, and he killed the ambassador. What's the connection? I don't know, I don't know. But he's the guy. I've never been more sure. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Stephen Light. Hi. I'm Leland Stottlemyre, San Francisco Homicide. This is Lieutenant Disher, Sharona Fleming, and that's Adrian Monk. He's helping us out. He's nearsighted. You were supposed to meet us at your apartment nearly an hour ago. You weren't there. Are you avoiding us, sir? No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. You know, it's. I'm just. I'm not thinking very straight right now. It's. It's. It's been a terrible week. Your assistant said we might find you here. That you were doing some errands. Yeah, that's right. I. I went to the pharmacy. You know, I. I've already talked to the police five times. I told them everything I know. Mr. Light, would you mind telling us your story again? You guys are from San Francisco, right? Yep. I, I don't understand. What does Beverly's murder have to do with you? We're working on a different case, but we think there might be a connection. Two days ago, it was it was our anniversary. We had tickets to the matinee. We were supposed to meet out in front of the theater, and she never showed up. Uh, I, I called everybody that we knew. Finally, I called the police. Excuse me. They had just found her body over by the boat pond in Central Park. The cops, they, they think that uh, they think that she resisted. And what do you think? I don't know. You know, she was she was wearing her grandmother's necklace, and, and it meant the world to her. I think if somebody probably tried to take that, she would have fought back. Mr. Light, have you ever been inside this bar before? Maybe. I don't remember. Maybe I can refresh your memory. You were here on Wednesday, just minutes after you killed your wife. <laughs> You're crazy. Here's what happened. You took your wife to the park, and you found a secluded area. And when you were sure no one was watching, you shot her. Then you took her jewelry to make it look like a robbery. Afterwards, you were pretty shaken up. Cold-blooded murder has a tendency to do that. So you decided to have a drink before you called the police. Of course, you didn't notice the ambassador from Latvia was sitting just a few feet away. Why would you? You'd never met the man. But then your worlds collided. The coat check girl gave him your coat by mistake. From what I've seen, that happens around here all the time. Later, when she gave you the ambassador's coat, you immediately realized what had happened. You had to get your coat back because your wife's jewelry was still in the pocket. It could have easily been traced. If anybody found it, they'd know you'd killed her. The ballistics check out. The wife was killed with the same gun. Mr. Light. You're under arrest for four counts of premeditated homicide. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's 